Audio sync replace. Audio sync replace. Fun times. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, Edit With Me. But this is a channel where I talk about video editing, post-production, and my life as a freelance editor. And my goal with this channel is to help video editors everywhere become better and faster at what they do. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing with notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. All right, let's get started. So today we're talking about audio sync replace. Okay, let's get to this quick tip. Here's the issue that we're going to fix. Excuse me. All right, so in this situation, I think the audio layer was locked when I rolled the video or when I moved it. Hi everybody, Hi everybody. welcome back, welcome to, my back to my channel, edit with, edit with me. me. Hi everybody, welcome back to... And I'm not sure how exactly it got so out of sync, but if you notice every clip, it's just not working with the audio and it seems like it's at the same rate. But either way, I'm not gonna go through each individual cut and resync every audio cut with this. That would take a very long time. So the best way to do this, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we've gotta go back to the selects that we pulled before. You have to find all the footage clips that you need to have good audio synced with. With each of these footage files or clips, make a new sequence and name each sequence with slash or underscore sync at the end. Now pull in all the audio. Now this is important. Make sure the sequence is the same length as the original clip to avoid any other issues with the edit or the audio. So to make sure everything works well, I like to run the process where you pull the clip directly onto new sequence. So you're retaining all the same settings as, as the clip, the same size, the same length. So when you sync the clip and the audio together, you wanna trim the audio to the length of the clip. Now, if the audio starts after the clip does, leave it alone, but if the audio runs a little bit longer than the video clip does at the end, you need to trim that up even if it cuts something off. We'll get to why. Um, let's see. After the export, we will right click on the original clips, select replace footage, and click on the sync version of the footage that we just exported. And do that for all the footage that you've used in the edit. Double check the edit, so watch the edit, make sure everything is in sync, and make sure that the audio is actually replaced with the good audio and it sounds in sync and it's the good audio that's not the on-cam audio. Make sure that you're not exporting the footage with the same name as the clip so you're not replacing it. You don't wanna replace your raw files, you wanna make a new version of that and know what it is. So sync, it's synced with the microphone audio. Welcome back to my channel, edit with me. And the biggest lesson for today is just work slow. Don't rush through things, pay attention to what you're doing when you're clicking. So yeah, that was the quick tip of the day. I hope that was helpful for you. I hope that maybe helps you find a quick workflow to find a way around audio sync issues. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. All right, guys, until next time, happy editing. Bye.